है गाइस वेलकम टू फर्स्ट स्टडीज यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 11 इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक प्लेलिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन एक्सेस द शॉर्टकट यूजिंग द स्पार्क नोटबुक इन साइड द फैब्रिक सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज इन द फैब्रिक प्ले लिस्ट आई वुड एंकरेज यू टू वॉच देम बिकॉज इट इज काइंड ऑफ कंटिन्यूएशन टू द लास्ट वीडियो इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड शॉर्टकट आई होप यू गाइस नो वॉट शॉर्टकट मीन्स Shortcut is nothing but like a, it's an object which will be available inside your one leg in the fabric, and that will actually refer to some other external storage, right? That means it's like a reference point. You create shortcuts for your files in your Windows OS as well, right? In your laptops. So similar to that, if you create a shortcut for any file or a folder, using that shortcut, you can actually refer to that particular file or a folder. It is similar concept. So please watch the previous video if you don't know. more about it or if you want to know more about it okay so let's go to workspace uh, let's try to see the practical implementation of how to access this shortcut using the spark notebook so you guys know that we created this workspace right mahir demo workspace we created this so i already opened this workspace and inside the workspace we know that there is a lake house called sample lake house and inside this lake house in our last class we created shortcuts so if i open this lake house and uh, when you see you will see a explore menu here you see that explorer menu here and then here you see wherever you see this kind of icon right with the link those are like a shortcuts so i have customer shortcut product shortcut sale shortcut these shortcuts are referring to some data which is available in the data folder so that's what we did so if i click this customer shortcut you see customer.csv file where this file is actually available if i go inside the data folder and if i go to the sales product you see customer folder inside the customer folder i have that customers.csv file so this customer shortcut is also referring to the same file so that's what shortcut means okay so now how to use this shortcut or or how to get the data from this shortcut using the spark notebook one way is everything whatever we create in the workspace that is actually like a one fabric item there it can be pipeline it can be lake house it can be notebook anything it is one item so one way is i can create a notebook from here click this new and i wanted to create a new notebook so there is no notebook option here i can click the more options and here you see that notebook option here so let me click this notebook option and in when i click that notebook option it will actually tries to create a new notebook you see that it is creating a notebook and it is actually loading that notebook as well and it's created a notebook called notebook 1 you can see here the name it's a notebook 1 and right now if you see the similar kind of explorer can came here and if you see there is something called lake houses so we can attach your lake houses uh, using this explorer menu to the notebook and from there you can write your code actually i will see a uh, user defined or user uh, the ui steps how to access the shortcuts actually so i i firstly i want to access that lake house from that lake house i have to take the shortcut and i have to refer that in the spark notebook so if i go back to my sample lake house you see that menu here sample lake house you see this customers is a shortcut right so this is sample lake house which is there in my workspace so that lake house should be available in the spark notebook explorer so that's what i wanted to achieve first so if i go to the notebook here uh, this is called notebook one you see that notebook one and let me click this lake houses and i can click this add button to add the lake house so existing lake house yes click the add button and it will list down all the existing lake houses i will select mine this sample lake house and simply click the add button to add that particular lake house into the explorer and from there i can actually uh, load that particular shortcut data into the spark notebook i can do that so so this is a customer shortcut right so click this shortcut now from the notebook from the explorer menu and you see the file here right click the file here and you see that load data option when you click this spark load data to spark then automatically it added this particular cell if you can observe so if i can minimize this uh, you see it automatically added and if you can closely observe the data it is writing a pyspark code spark.read.format it is telling a csv format 
and header equals to true that means first row is a header and under files customers customers dot csv so that's what the file which i am trying to refer so actually it is automatically pointing to the files customers customer dot csv but this customer dot csv file is actually available in the data folder right if you remember if you go here if i go to the data folder if i go to the sample project customers then this is where that particular file is there so if i click this customers for example i should see that file but now the path here what we mentioned is not that full path this is actually the path which came if you see this is, let me so this is actually the path which came from the shortcut here the customers is a shortcut from the shortcut i am using it so this code if i execute right by by when i click this run cell button it will actually tries to execute the code and tries to read that customer.csv file from the customer's shortcut and it will display the data also and if you observe what this particular code is doing it is taking that csv file and loading it into this data frame and then finally displaying that data frame so let's wait for the execution to complete here you see session started in five seconds see spark session will get start very faster in the fabric actually comparing to the synapse in synapse it will take one two minutes minimum but here within seconds the session started and also you can see it is started showing the data as well so that means i am able to access the data from the shortcut what i created in our previous video using the spark notebook not only this i can give the full path also here in the pyspark code what i can do if this is the customer.csv is the file right click copy that abfs azure blob file system path copy that path and i can use that path also here and even if i try that even if i try to execute this code now after using that path still it will work okay uh, so it's same thing so but uh, previous thing what i shown is just know which is via shortcut okay so this is how we can access the shortcuts data in the spark notebooks very easily i hope you guys understood oh, what is this uh, uh, shortcuts i mean how to access the data especially via shortcuts using the spark notebook thank you for watching this video if you like this video please consider cons subscribing to the channel and then press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much